agenda, BR3 and BR3X comparison, functions and cross-reference, parameter and relay statuses, wiring, specs, programming, and troubleshooting. Programmable 3 Relay Advanced Logic Module and Restroom Controller. The BR3X, it's 100% the exact same hardware as the previous version, the BR3, with all of the existing functionality plus more. Here's a comparison of the BR3 to the BR3X. This is just a line drawing. You can see clearly they're both very similar. They each have four inputs. They each have three outputs, power, input, programmable jumpers for the wet or dry relay output, and then the setup parameter and increase push buttons. Functions. Here's a chart showing all of the related functions of the BR3X. The two red rectangles are what's highlighting the functions that we'll discuss in this presentation. Here's a function cross-reference comparison showing the differences of the BR3 to the BR3X. Function 21 is now 22. Function 25 from the previous version is now a 28, 29. 36 or 37. Function 35 is now a 36 or 37. Function 75 is now a 28, 29, 36 or 37. Parameter and relay status. H equals hold or relay hold time. D equals delay, the delay between firing the next relay status on the left column and then the description on the right. R1, R2, R3 are the relay outputs during the sequence. D1 is the delay between relay 1 and relay 2. D2 is the delay between relay 1 and relay 3. RL for reverse logic is for input 1. NP no parameter or not programmed. H1, H2, H3 is the hold time for relays 1, 2, and 3. R with two horizontal lines indicates relay 1 and 2 are activated during the hold time. The horizontal lines in this case represent the number of relays active. So we have the second one, R, an upper line and a lower line has R1 and R3 activated, and then the very bottom, R with three horizontal lines, indicates all three relays are activated, R1, 2, and 3. Function 36 is a three relay sequencer plus a one shot option. On the right, the available parameters are hold times H1, H2, H3. Hold that respective relay for that amount of time. The D1 is the delay between relay 1 and relay 2. D2 is the delay between relay 1 and relay 3. The H1 hold time must be greater than D1 when using an electric lock. When triggering input 1 or wet input, R1 or relay 1 will close and hold for the time selected on the H1. R2 or Relay 2 will close after the time delay of D1 and the hold time of H2. R3 will close after the delay D2 and the hold time for H3. The one-shot function is selectable for Relay 1, 2, and 3. Shown with the note at the bottom of the screen, function 36. If input 1 or the wet input is maintained or shorted, meaning the push plate is pressed and held, jumping input 2, 3, or 4 will allow relay 1, 2, or 3 respectively to close, run the whole time, and then open, meaning that's a one-shot function. That sequence will complete. If no jumpers are set, 
relay one, two, and three will close, hold, and not time out or open or reverse until the input is released. Meaning if you maintain the input, the output will change and freeze and hold until that input is released. Unless you put a jumper in input two, three, or four, and that will allow that respective output to run and time out and finish. Function 37 is a three relay sequencer with independent output relay option. Shown on the right of the screen, the available parameters, H1, 2, and 3 are all the hold times for relay 1, 2, and 3. D1, the delay between relay 1 and 2. D2, the delay between relay 1 and 3. H1, or the hold time for relay 1, must be greater than D1 when using an electric lock. Trigger, trigger the input one or the what input. Relay one will close and hold for the H1 time. R2 will close after the time delay D1 and hold for the H2 time. R3 or relay three will close after the D2 delay and hold for the H3 time. If you trigger input two, R1 will close and hold for the H1 time. If you trigger input three, R2 will close and hold for the H2 time. If you trigger input 4, R3 will close and hold for time H3. As you can see, trigger input 2, 3, and 4 only triggers R1, 2, and 3 respectively. So that's our independent output relay option. Triggering input 1 is what runs the sequence. Triggering input 2, 3, and 4 will run relay 1, 2, and 3 independently outside of the sequence. Function NL, the normally locked restroom function. On the right, the available parameters, H1, hold time for relay 1, H2, hold time for relay 2, and D1, delay between relay 1 and 2. H1 must be greater than D1 for the trigger trigger input 1 or the wet input, R1 will close and hold for the H1 time, R2 will close after the time delay D1 and hold for the time H2. If you trigger input 2, R1 will close and hold for H1 time, R2 will close after the time delay D1 and hold for the H2 time, and R3 will open. If you trigger input 3, Relay 3 will close and input 1 will be inhibited or not accepted or not allowed. Function note, input 3 will not function unless input 4 is closed. Input 4 should be closed when the door is closed. That would be for the door position switch. The door position switch will make or close or short when the door is closed. Normally locked restroom inputs and outputs explained. Input 1, R1 will close and hold for H1 time. R2 will close after D1 delay time and hold for the H2 time. Input 3, R3 will close. Input 1 will be inhibited or not allowed or not accepted. Input 2, R1 will close and hold for H1 time. R2 will close after the D1 delay and hold for the H2 time and R3 will open. Normally locked function, note on the bottom here, input three will not function unless input four is closed. That's the door position switch. Shall close when the door is closed. Normally unlocked restroom function, available parameters on the right, H2 relay two hold time, D1 delay between relay one and two, H1 must be greater than D1 when using an electric lock. For the triggers, trigger input 1, R2 will close and hold time for H2. Trigger input 2, R1 will open, R2 will close after time delay D1 and hold for time H2. R3 will open. Trigger input 3, R1 and R3 will close and input 1 will be inhibited, not allowed or not accepted. Function note for the normally unlocked restroom function, input three will not function unless input four is closed. 
That's the door position switch function. Input 4 should be closed when the door is closed to allow this function to work. Normally unlock restroom inputs and outputs explained. Input 1, R2 will close and hold for the H2 time. Input 3, R1 and 3 will close. Input 1 will be inhibited, not allowed, not accepted. Input 2, R1 will open, R2 will close after the D1 delay and hold for the H2 time. R3 will open. Note, for the normally unlocked function, input 3 will not function unless input 4 is closed. That's the DPS or door position switch. Shall close when the door is closed. DN is the three relay sequencer with a day night 24 hour mode. DN for day night. On the right, the available parameters H1, 2, and 3 are the relay hold times for relay 1, 2, and 3. D1, the delay between relay 1 and 2. D2, delay between relay 1 and 3. For the triggers, if you trigger input 1, 2, or the wet input, R1 will close and hold for the H1 time. R2 will close after the time delay D1 and hold for the H2 time. R3 will close after the time delay D2 and hold for the time H3. If you trigger input 3, R1 will close and hold for the H1 time. Input 2 will be uninhibited for 5 seconds. Function note for the day-night timer, input 2 will only function if input 4 is open. Shown in the wiring for the BR3X on the day-night function, you'll put a switch in the input 4, that's the day-night function. When the switch is made, the night function takes over. When the switch is open, day function operation. Input 4 is for the day-night function. If input 4 is open, input 2 will only function. BR3X technical specifications, supply voltage 12 to 24 volts AC or DC. That is a range. It could be 14, 16, 18 volts AC or DC. Current consumption, a range from 30 to 130 milliamps. Temperature rating, minus 15 to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Inputs, there are four dry contact inputs and there's a wet input. There is a voltage range on that, 5 to 24 volts AC or DC for the wet or voltage input. The contact rating will depend if you select dry or wet with respect to relay 1. 3 amps for a dry at 24 volts AC or 30 volts DC. If you select wet option for relay 1, it's a 1 amp rating. Relay 2 and 3 respectively are 3 amps and 1 amp rating. It's a white ABS plastic translucent housing and dimensions are shown on the screen. Programming steps 1 through 8 shown on the screen. We'll go in order here. Step one, press and hold the increase and parameter buttons for three seconds. Press them both at the same time. The LCD display on the BR3X will toggle between FF function function and 00, zero for five seconds. Next, press the increase or INCR to cycle through the functions. It'll start at 10, it'll scroll forward numerically, 11, 22, 28, 36, etc. In step four, once you find the desired function is selected, press the param or parameter button to cycle through the parameters. Step five, the display will now toggle between the parameter and its current value for five seconds. Step six, once that finishes, press the INCR or increase button to cycle through the parameter values for the chosen function that you've selected. Step seven, 
repeat steps four through seven until the function parameters are all set. Step eight, wait five seconds for the BR3X to save and display the function. Troubleshooting. As you see on the screen, problem, cause, solution. Left to right, the BR3X will not react to any inputs. Possible causes are incorrect power, not programmed, incorrect wiring, or a defective BR3X. The solution is to the right of each of those causes. Verify the power for incorrect power. If it's not programmed, you got to make sure you set the program on the LCD to a given function. Incorrect wiring, just verify the wiring is applied exactly as described and specified in the instruction manual or a possible defective BR3X. The next problem, the BR3X has no output. One, incorrect output devices. Maybe ensure proper devices are connected to the outputs for the specific function program. Probably the most common cause is the BR3X is not programmed. You have to ensure a function is programmed. The BR3X does not show 00, zero and all H values are set to at least 0, 01. If an H or a hold value is set to 0, that respective output will not change or reverse. Also, incorrect wiring. Verify the wiring is applied exactly as described for the specific function program. Or, incorrect jumper settings. You want to ensure all jumpers are configured correctly for the specific application. Also, defective BR3X. The last problem, E1, 2, 3, 4, or 5, is an EEPROM error. You can reset the BR3X and reprogram it. Probably a power cycle will allow you to finish programming. If not, you would have to replace the BR3X. Feature benefit of the BR3X, it's the next generation BR3. has all the same functionality of the previous model plus a three relay sequencer with a one shot function, a three relay sequencer with independent relay function. It has a normally locked restroom function, a normally unlocked restroom function, a three relay sequencer with a day night mode function. Restroom controller, it has single occupancy restroom controller for both normally locked and normally unlocked restrooms. Day night, 24 hour mode, Controls push plate access for daytime and nighttime usage. BR3 platform, exact same field proven hardware, exact same wiring setup and programming. And that's it. Contact information, customer service 800-523-2462 or email orders-us at beasensors.com. Technical support 800 523-2462 or email info-us at beasensors.com. The following slide will show contact information for your state or province.